Welcome to Mr. Foy's easel. You see, I've drawn a circle or a pear or something. Anyway, a round figure. On this program, I want to go back to uh, some of the basic points I made about cartoon characters uh, way back when Mr. Foy's easel was in its early stages. Those of you who remember seeing some of those early programs, recall that I demonstrated how you could draw a circle or a roundish figure and then do some uh, crisscross lines. And then on either side, right here and right below, you'd have the beginning of a comic face. Of course, when you're doing this, you ought to have a pencil for these marks so you can erase the little dotted lines after you're finished with your character. And of course, we use the horizontal lines as a basis for the ears. And somewhere down here, we put a mouth and then we put pupils in there. And presto a comic face. You could also start out like this. You could do the inside circles and, shall we say, work from the inside out. Have a, a guy here with main features, and then this, you want to really freewheel it where you can do a different shape and put a cap on him and so on. Now, in developing these characters, I emphasize the fact that the eyes don't have to be like that. Uh, they can be like this, Dagwood Bumstead eyes, or they can be just little dots like that. And then too, if you want to vary it, you can put the eyes a little bit more separated. The problem is it's, it's a little harder to, to get everything uh, lined up correctly if you do this, but you can work on this and uh, have the pupils looking in different directions. And not only can you have different kinds of eyes, you can have different kinds of mouths, like this rather toothy grin on this person. Still a funny character, even if you don't follow the original simple plan. And of course, eyebrows are important to show whatever the, what the character is feeling or what kind of mood or attitude is present. For example, this, this person with eyebrows like that looks sort of, uh, sort of worried, you know. Uh, where, what did that do with my keys? You know, that kind of thing. And sometimes eyebrows can be important in defining a type of personality or character you're working on. Notice also on this particular face, instead of having the nose, well, on both of the, all, all three of these really, instead of having the character looking out at you, uh, the characters are looking off to the side either like this or like this. Well, during these early programs, I often or several times mentioned that learning to draw cartoons is easy as ABCs. And so far today in this review, you can tell what I'm thinking about as far as what letter of the alphabet is the one you want to tackle when you're just learning to be a cartoonist. The letter O, B, 
because that supplies you with the beginning shape of a cartoon character. But other letters of the alphabet uh, can be used. The, I suppose the, the, the one that is just about as versatile as the O is the C because, for example, using a C, you can draw a cartoon nose of someone who's looking out in that direction. And if you want to think of a letter of the alphabet as being drawn backward, this is a C, except it's turned around. So, and there's another one turned around. So, C and O, they're about the most useful of all the letters when it comes to creating cartoon faces. Well, let's take a short break, and when we return, we'll do some more. Home security is now available through Conway Corp. It's an advanced solution backed by people you know and trust. Customize your system with motion detectors, sensors, light controls, and more. All managed from your wireless touchscreen or mobile phone. It's an easy way to protect the things that matter and the ones who matter most. It's safety for you. Powered by Conway Corp. Well, we're back, and I was just about to visit some of the other letters of the alphabet and demonstrate ways that they can be used by a cartoonist. Most of these are not quite as uh, useful as the O and the C, but as a cartoonist, you need to learn to see things that the person who's not interested in cartooning doesn't see, like the letter A, and put two letter, two of the letters right here, and already you can see that uh, A's can be used for eyes with uh, the lids halfway, and you could have this lady's friend who just came from a, a wild party and hasn't taken off his party hat yet. But let's see what she looks like. So the letter A, it's pretty useful. You can even do a, a cursive capital A and come out with something if you like, like this, this brunette here with a ribbon in her hair. Other letters, uh, well, let's take, for example, the letter V. Now, in drawing cartoons, the, using alphabetic beginnings, you don't always have to put that on the face of the character. For example, in this one, you can be a V-neck sweater. You see, and if you want to venture off into drawing cartoon critters, animals and birds, you can slant the V like that. And with a little bit of imagination and shall I say dexterity, you can come up with a goofy looking bird, you see, using the V as the beak. So try to get in the mind, of, in your mind, uh, seeing certain shapes as perhaps the jumping off point to a cartoon creation. Well, there's some letters that are just so easy that I haven't mentioned, like the letter I, which can 
of course, become an eye. You can add another eye there. And T is almost as easy as the eye. You can make a toothy grin for a character like this. An eye for an eye, as they say. Um, some people think that maybe the letter Q is difficult. Well, not really. Let's look up here at this circle, and you can see it becomes a Q. And to the cartoonist, that little line there can become a straw leading down to a Coke or some other beverage. And the guy's having a little uh, liquid refreshment. The letter L, I uh, should point out to you that the letter L is very useful. You can make it the upper part of a character's mouth like this. See the L there? Or if you're drawing the whole character, you're drawing his body, you might make it into his arm, and he's uh, it's like his pal up here. He's holding on to something uh, cool and refreshing. More difficult characters, well, the letter Y. There are probably several things to do with it, but uh, what I found the, the easiest and most fun is to draw sort of the back of somebody's head uh, who's reading the daily newspaper. You can see the newspaper out in front, the back of his head, and the back of the chair he's sitting in. Also pretty difficult is the letter K. Uh, one of my favorite ways of doing a K is to make a critter out of it, namely a, a cheerful looking frog. Now some of these things I'm doing here, I wouldn't advise you to start out uh, with them. I th think if you're just beginning, you stick with the uh, circles and the circles within circles. W sounds like a difficult one. It is more difficult than a C or an O, but you can take the W and make a collar out of it, put the upper part of the, somebody's necktie, and you do your circles within circles action and there you got got the letter W serving its purpose for the uh, enterprising cartoonist well that's all of our time we'll Maybe do some more basics uh, in one of our forthcoming programs. But that's all the time we have, so remember, you can contact Mr. Foy Ziesel at conwaycorp.com.